Greetings. Today we are going to explore an important principle in human computer interaction called interaction styles. So what are interaction styles actually? All the ways a user can communicate or interact with the computer system is basically known as the interaction style. It is essentially how we talk to a computer system. Because since the rise of technology, the functionality of any system has been defined by how we as humans interact with them. There are mainly five types of interaction styles. Let's dive into these topics and explore their pros and cons. First we have is command language. It is one of the oldest and earliest form of interactive interface we ever really had. However, it is still used in many operating systems based on Unix and Linux architecture. And you may ask why, because it is still very powerful and flexible interface that appeals to the expert side of the user. However, it has its own disadvantages and it can be a very difficult interface to learn. Another we have is form filling, which is also known as fill in the blanks is best suited to data input which aims at different set of users than command language, especially non-expert users. And some of the Google Forms can be the most primary example of this type of interaction. And the main advantage of this design is it simplifies the data entry as the fields are already predefined. So the convenience is again given back to the user online command line interface. However, forms occupies more screen space and demands more keystrokes. Another we have is menu selection, mostly a drop down menu, displays a set of options where selection of any one or more options results in a state change of the interface. The reason being for menu selection to be widely used is it appeals to both intermittent and expert side of the user and encourages exploration in the design. However, too many menus may lead to misinformation or the information overload and increase the complexity of the design. Next we have is direct manipulation. It is an interaction style in which the object of the interest in the UI are visible and can be acted upon via physical reversible incremental actions that receive immediate feedback. It visually presents task concepts and is very easy to learn because as humans we have this natural tendency to grow more interaction with objects that we can touch, feel, see and manipulate at real time. However, this type of design is more difficult to program and not suitable for small graphic displays. And lastly, we have its natural language interaction. It is a type of computer-human interaction where linguistic phenomena such as verbs, phrases, and clauses acts as UI controls for creating, selecting, and modifying data in software application. Set up an alarm for 4 a.m. All right, your alarm set for tomorrow at as 4 a.m. As you can see, the analyze such as Google Assistant allows users to communicate with their system very naturally that reduces the need of keyboard overall. However, such design requires a very clear space and is very unpredictable due to ambiguity and any disturbances in the noise makes it difficult for the system to interpret the user's speech. We are Team Creo signing off and we hope you had fun. Thank you for watching.